What's shaking, peepers? You're checking out another video with Sudhaba. Today we're looking at Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze movie figures. We have the VHS 4 set. We got Toka and Raza 2 pack and the accessory pack. All based on the Secret of the Ooze movie. So let's crack these open and see what we're working with. As we can see, this is a huge box. This is the previous Mikey from the original movie. Um, it's supposed to look like a VHS cassette. So they tell me. Let me just slide this open. And there we have it. Get these guys centered in the camera here. Now, like I mentioned, they are fairly huge, but there they are in their plastic sarcophagus. So let's get them out of here. Looking pretty nice. Head scope from the second movie is pretty sweet. Got a cool sewer background that you can use. Actually, take that back. That looks like a subway. Put that over there. There's also. Ninja Rat. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Yeah. So if you had yourself a Fidel Ice figure, you could do a ninja dance concert, a rap concert. All right, let's get these boys out of there. So before we look at the turtles, we'll look at the accessories. There's a pizza box, raft size, pizza slices, nunchucks, salamis, foam bat, ooze canisters, fire extinguisher, not sure what that is, katanas, and the bow staff. I just noticed something here where every other spot there's two hands, two hands, two hands, one hand. Um, if there's supposed to be a second hand there, can you put in the comments below and let me know? Um, I'm going to reach out to NECA anyways, but I seem to have a couple of issues with this set. Um, there's also Leonardo, his uh, sheath is in multiple pieces. I guess the glue wasn't uh, adequately applied, so therefore we have some QC issues here. Okay, so here we have them all out of the box, and we can see that they all have their new movie head sculpts. Must admit, they did a great job on the head sculpts. I would have liked Raph's um, mask to be a little bit darker red. Um, on camera, it looks like the right red, but in real life, it's kind of more of an orangey red. But other than that, it looks phenomenal. The eyes look like they're looking at you. 
good to see you here with Leo. He looks great. Mikey, same thing. He's smiling at you. Looks phenomenal. And then we have Donnie's smirk. Looks great. So all in all, uh, head sculpts look fantastic. Um, to be honest, the bodies are reused from the originals uh, for the most part. We can see here where the head sculpts are different, but essentially the bodies are the same. There's Raf. Uh, here's Donnie. Essentially the same figure, body. A uh, little different paint apps on the torso. But essentially all the art articulation and everything is the same. That's why I won't run through it. Again, we got original Mikey there. With the new one. Oh, uh, oh Mikey, but you can be center stage here. So, yeah. Subtle differences with Mikey. He didn't change all that much from the first one to the second one, to be honest. And then, Mr. Leo, who looks a little bit more happier in this version. And a lot less stoic, a little bit more cartoony. His head is much larger. Slightly different shade of green. Not a huge difference. There's more of a yellow hue on all of them, as we can see on their skin. But on their shells, it's the opposite. There's yellow on the shells and more of a brown color on the uh, the new Secret of the Ooze figures. Pretty good, uh, minus some of my QC issues and whatnot. But uh, oh no, good release. I like the presentation. The backdrop is really cool. Um, so I dig that. Um, let's take a look at Token Raza now. So these guys are beefy boys, so it's a pretty beefy box. As you can see, she won't want to see them in the box. She want to see them outside running rampages. So there they are. Restraints so they can't do any harm inside their box. Something that's really cool that I found inside the box was the box of donuts that they used to tranquilize them. That was pretty cool. Nice touch. It's actually made out of cardboard. So let's get these guys open and do some size comparisons. Actually, you know what? First, we'll just look at the accessories. So here we have it. We have the shield. We have the pipe. Piece of wood. Another fire extinguisher they use to activate the tranquilizer and the demutagen agent, whatever that stuff was. <laughs> uh, extra hands. Extra hands. Good stuff. Some donuts. And a mutagen can, because obviously you have to have a mutagen container. All right, let's get them out. Running havoc. So there we have them all out of the box. Free to rain, chaos and destruction. I gotta admit, they really need nail these sculpts. They are immaculate. They are so movie accurate. It's unbelievable. They even have tire treads on the armor here. The grill chest. They have full like plastic chain here to attach it so it moves everything looks pretty cool pretty movie accurate now these are big boys so they do stand up once you get them going but they can't be difficult cool feature here articulated jaw pretty good now neck joints are usually fairly tight which these are fairly tight and i'll be honest it's right out of the box i usually like to heat these up before i move them so I won't be going through articulation, but these have been out for a while. This is a second release, I believe, so I'm sure you can find other videos with articulation rundowns if you want. Um, here again, nailed it. All the spikes, 
Looks awesome. Articulated jaw so we can put those donuts in there. All in all, they're awesome, awesome figures. Um, you can see back here, a little height comparison with the turtles. So they are quite large in comparison. Probably would have liked them if they were a little bigger, because in the movie they towered quite a bit over the turtles, but these will do. These are fine. These will look great on the shelf. Um, I think they did a really good job on, on, on these turtles. And these mutants, Toka and Razar. Uh, honestly, these are awesome. Another way. Okay, so up next we have the Secret of the Ooze accessory pack. And here it is out of the box. So, as we can see here, that's the multiple turtle heads, fedora, piano guitar, bow mop, mutagen container, bag, PC, for all you younger viewers out there, that is actually a payphone. We used to have those all over the city. Not so much anymore. Potato chips. Unmutated Toka and Raza. Suitcase, pizza box. Ninja Rap is born newspaper, which is pretty cool. Uh, some drinks and whatnot. So let's take a look at these. Okay, so first up we have keyboard guitar. Pretty cool. Let's get a strap. Nice. Uh, we get a bowl of oatmeal. I don't know what that is to be honest. Uh, oh, careful. And we got a Mikey head sculpt. Looks really good. Lots of detail, lots of paint. The best part of these heads, and on the other figures too, is their eyes. Their eyes look so real. They're so glossy and pretty awesome. But there's Raph. And this is Silenced Raph. Doesn't look too happy. And then we have Liu. And we have Donnie. Good. And we have the bag. Them up. It is double sided. Uh, one side is flat. Thought it would stand, but honestly, it doesn't. But if you put it on Donnie's hand and hold it, put it flat in the bottom or the floor, the ground, whatever you want to call it, uh, you have it there. Um, we have candy bar, some brushes when they're cleaning up. So it's pretty cool. Beverage with straw. Beverage, no straw. An old PC. Again, some of you yoga kids probably have never seen one like this. The cathode ray tube monitor. Disk drives. Pretty awesome. Now, here we go. A payful. Receiver actually hangs up. Looks great. And then we have Toka. I'll be honest, I, I always get these mixed up, so I might have gotten this mixed up. This might be Raza, but looks great. It's nice paint job, no articulation, but that's okay. And then we have Raza. Again, I just look really great. Uh, head moves. That's pretty cool. Uh, we got a suitcase. Opened up. Regal cardboard pizza box with pizza. That's cool. Ninja Rap is born. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go. Even with the support section printed on both sides, pretty awesome. Uh, and lastly, we have Tear Trips. Okay, well, 
that's it. Now, there was a Super Shredder where he had the mutagen mutate him into that massive monster underneath the dock. Um, I didn't pick him up. Um, and also the uh, the updated Shredder with the mast with all the jagged edges because his original one was beat up in the garbage truck. Um, at some point I'll probably grab those and I'll do another video on those. But uh, at this time, you know, budget only goes so far. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Um, it's greatly appreciated. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in the next one.